All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Badash, Rakatham to the Akim that's teaching his word of society and truth, and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this word through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, back at you again with another show. And, um, you know, with this one uh, still uh, stimming and vibrating off the, um, you know, a few lessons that I did previously. And, um, you know, about the mark of the beast, you know, uh, Venezuela going digital, you know, using cryptocurrency, you know, because, you know, once again, you know, if you don't know, you should know that, you know, our society and environment that we're living in, whether you're here in Babylon or either, no matter where in the world, you know, the world, which is the world of Esau, all right, because it says written in Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, all right, you know, he's actually changing his system into a digital currency, and that gears toward what? The mark of the beast. We're in the season of the mark of the beast, so I'm going to just get straight to it. This is Second Edges chapter 16 and 62. It says, yea, and the spirit of the almighty Yahweh, which made all things, and search of out all hidden things and the secrets of the earth, all right? And what's hidden in plain sight? The mark of the beast. All right, because there's a lot of people that know about it that's willingly taking it, and there's a lot of people that don't know about it, you know. And um, you have Israelite camps that's of the circumcision, knowing they're Israelites. Here they are, you know, knowing that you're a Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite, but then you don't know these prophecies, man, you know, or they don't uh, they don't accept these prophecies that the Lord have taught us, man. All right, and um, and that prophecy is the mark of the beast, man. So if you got camps that's not teaching that the RFID or NFC microchip is not the mark of the beast, then you might as well yeah, you should get away from them guys, man. Because if you're not if you're not warning the people as you're supposed to be a watchman and a prophet, you know, to warn the hopeful elect, then you're scattering, man. You know, if you're teaching some other type of doctrine, you're going off, man. You know, and you're gonna be destroyed for that because the Lord talked about building us up for the day of the battle. You know, the first uh, thing about war and the battle and who you, who your enemy is, is, is knowing. You know, that's the first thing, is that you knowing, all right? Knowing what's going on, man, all right? And if you don't know what's going on, you're going to be taken by surprise, man. So it says, yea, and the spirit of the almighty Yahweh, which made all things and search of out all hidden things, are in the secrets of the earth, all right? So there's nothing that the Most High don't know about, all right? It says, verse 63, Surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. So the Most High knows, man. Okay? He knows. He knows exactly what these Edomites plan on, do it, uh, plan on doing all the way to a T. The Most High knows, man. Okay? He knows how they're going to set it off. He knows their plan, their agenda, and the things they wish that, that they hope they can get achieved, you know, they accomplish, you know? It says, verse 64, it says, therefore, have the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. All right? And then, yeah, Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to put these Edomites to shame, man. Because here it is, they sit as a, a, a power, you know, over the earth and a ruler, a bully, a so-called God. All right? And they're going to be put to shame when they be brought low. When their kingdom is uh, perishing, man, which is it, which it is now, you know, it's not the same as it was 40, 50 years ago. All right, you know, the internet of things, you know, with the word of the Lord being pushed, it's tearing up these Edomites' kingdom. Okay, it's, it's tearing them apart. You know, it's breaking down all the lies that they they use to pull the wool over our eyes. You know, to keep us subjected into their system. You know. But now the Lord is taking that wool off our eyes, man, and allowing us to see. All right. And if you can't see, then that's on you. All right. Because the Most High ain't dealing with you, man. All right. It says, um, verse 65. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accuser in that day. So guess what? Your own shame, your own sins is going to accuse you. That's why, uh, uh, uh. You know, you reap what you sow. What you put in is what you get out. You know, if you put in a, a righteous 
uh, you sow in a good righteous seed, you receive a good righteous seed. If you sow in a, a, a bad wicked seed, you receive a, white, a, a, a wicked reward, man. All right? You receive that reward back. It says, And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men. All right? And the whole world is going to see the destruction of America. All right? Of Babylon the Great. The whole world, man. All right? Just like the time when the Lord delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt. All right? The whole world knew about that. The splitting of the Red Sea. You know? The whole world knew. You know? It says, um, And ye shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be an accuser in that day. What will ye do? Or how will ye hide your sins before the Most High and His angels? Because the angels are always watching. You know, how would you hide? Yo, you can't hide. All right? There's nothing you can justify, you know, when the Lord is watching you, man. It says, Behold, the Most High Himself is the judge, because that's our true judge, man. Our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man? And then from under Him, the elect, man. Okay? That's set up, that's right now rehearsing to be your future judges and rulers, man. You know, whether you believe it or not. All right? It says, Behold, the Most High is the judge. Fear him. And we do. We fear the most high, man. We don't fear Esau. Alright? You know? And I'll and, and I'm pretty sure they know that by now. You know? They know that by now. Because why? We're constantly pushing. You know, this word is constantly going out despite all the scare tactics that they push in front of us, man. Or they bring, you know, at our doorstep. You know, you got agents coming to doorsteps, taking pictures, doing all types of shit. Coming that well, coming down to the camp, harassing. You know, agent provocateurs, man, hoping that we uh, act out so that they can capitalize on our carnalness, you know. But guess what? Our warfare is not carnal. All right. It says, for behold, uh, Salakia, verse 67, behold, the most highest, the judge, fear him, leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities and meddle no more with them forever. So uh, us as uh, returning back unto the Lord, you know, seeking the Lord 10 times more. You know, don't, you know, we're not supposed to be uh, 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 worrying and indulging in, in iniquity, man. You know, iniquity gets put away, you know. You're not supposed to meddle in it, man. And even when you go off, hey, you ask the Lord to forgive you, and then you meddle no more with that, man. You know, it's this, this thing of ours is about fighting. You know, you become a warrior in the spirit because it's about fighting, you know. Hey, we're not fighting physically. But we're fighting mentally and spiritually, man. Because your biggest enemy is yourself. All right? You, that, that you look yourself in the mirror. You are your worstest critic. You are your biggest enemy. And it starts with you first before the actual enemy of, uh, the actual enemies of the Most High. All right? Because you got to take care of yourself, man. You know? You got to look yourself in the eye. You got to see whether you are in the truth. You got to examine whether you are in the truth. You know? It says, um... And forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. You know, so all the shit we did in the past and our worldly life that we lived, you know, the Lord said he, he winked at them. It says, um, so shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. So our mind is constantly pondering and meditating on salvation. This is why before my videos, you know, I like to push, you know, the reason of uh, salvation, you know, the, the re the, uh, it's like, yeah, I would like to push the vibration of salvation because that's what this thing is about for us, of the hopeful elect. We're hoping to be delivered by Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right? So it says, um, to meddle no more with them forever, so shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. All right, and that's all trouble, man. All the trouble that's coming, Jacob's trouble, all right, the evil times, all right? It says, verse 68, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And who is that burning wrath? That's Esau, all right, and his military, his troops, okay? That's furnished to the, for that drink offering, man, all right? Because two-thirds uh, uh, furnished that drink offering, man, as it's written in um, Isaiah 65 and 11, all right? You know, it says, um, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is, is kindled over you. And they are. Secretly, they're watching our videos. They're mad. They're upset. They can't wait to put their hands on us. 
they're coming up with plans and they're trying to narrate you know what we are to to uh to target us to make us a target you know calling us the black you know really they calling us uh the black identity extremists you know that just came out you know it says um it says uh and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols and what is that mainly 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 it's that chit man that mark of the beast and and here i go you know once again talking about these different camps all right that's not pushing the mark of the beast prophecy all right which is the rfid microchip you guys is going to be persecuted by esau you know even all, all of us all of us man let me read that again it says for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols so you're going to be put in a position whether you're going to whether you're going to take that chip or you're going to perish man okay you know we hey, we have faith in Yahweh shimmy i was shy that the lord is going to uh, uh uh keep us from the hours of temptation man you know and and guess what we understand quite well that Esau is going to come down hard upon us but you other Israelite camps that got a whole mouth of swelling words to say evil against us because we out on the streets prophesizing faithfully teaching his word in season out of season telling you straight you got a problem with us but not realizing that Esau has a problem with you because you know that you a Hebrew Israelite you know this thing of ours is not just about uh, you know, rehearsing the holiday, the holy days, it's like you Re rehearsing the holy days. You know, you gotta hey prophesize, man. You know, the men, you know, this word gotta be pushed, you know. You gotta contribute to the Lord's uh, uh body, man. You know, and, and you gotta watch what you're talking about, man. You know, because you know, I just say it, man. You know, uh start with our apostles, you know, these are the real true men, all right, of Yahweh Bashim Mount Shah and the earth teaching this word, man. You know, who else? If it's not them, then who else? Because who's, who's out teaching this word faithfully, man? Who's giving it to you uh, with no schism, man? You know, who's telling you, giving it to you raw, uncut? You know, telling you like it is? You know, I mean, when I was in the world, you know, hey, I would rather uh, my brothers and them to tell me exactly what it was, even if it did hurt my feelings. But at least I know, you know, instead of being, you know, told sued things, you know, when you tell someone sued things, it's, it's, it's kind of in the form, most of the time, it's in the form of a lie. Just to, uh, cup, just to uh, win over somebody's spirit, man. To make them feel good, you know? But we're not in that feel good and spirit yet, man. We haven't uh, won the war yet. Yahweh Shai haven't returned yet, man. So anyway, it says, um, and, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. All right? It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trodden underfoot. So guess what? For those that do take that mark of the beast, you're gonna be uh, uh, in derision, man. You, you're in a trick bag. You're still you're gonna be destroyed. Cause what the Lord said, if you 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 take that chip, you take that mark, you're gonna you're gonna burn in the nuclear fire, man. You're gonna burn in the lake of fire, man. All right. And that's why it's it's it's, it's better. All right, to teach this truth, because the first part is knowing the truth, man. All right, knowing this truth. Okay, you're not teaching it, then and you don't know, you're going to take the chip. You know, and it really boils down to the most high, you know, putting that spirit on you not to take the chip. Because anybody could say, I'm not going to take it. But it has to be the spirit of the Lord on you in that day not to take it. Because you're going to be tempted, man. You're going to be put at all odds, man. You know, what are you going to do to save your family then? You know, or to save yourself. How you gonna eat? You know, how you gonna get by? How you gonna be registered to this system that Esau is uh is bringing? You know, it's a new system that he wants to put, man. He wants to bring here, man, and he's doing it now. He's not just bringing it; he's he's doing it. All right. It says um, it says verse sixty nine, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trodden underfoot. So you're gonna be destroyed by these devils, man. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right. So us uh, 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 that fear the Lord, knowing the, uh, the, uh, that, that who we are, knowing who our enemy is and knowing this truth, 
we're going to be persecuted, man. You know, and that goes not just for us brothers that's bringing these scriptures out, but that goes for you other camps. All right. That's not teaching the, uh, uh, the prophecies, man. You know, you think you guys going to get away with, oh, I'm not radical. Or, you know, I'm not uh, like those guys on the street. You know, or, or we just rehearsed the holy days and, you know, we come together in brotherly love and I'm an American Israelite. You know, and you guys going to be persecuted, too, man. You think Esau want to hear that shit when he coming down with great wrath? Man, Esau's looking for blood. And you already know. The scriptures tell you blood don't hey blood is nothing to these Edomites, man. That's what they live for. They're the son of perdition, man. You know, they can't wait to get their hands on your babies. They can't wait to get their hands on your wives, man. They can't wait to get their hands on you. So they could do the un, un unthinkable, man. You know? That's what they do. It says, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. See? For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. They shall they shall take. They, it's like it. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire, man. Okay? And that's what you're going to know, man. Certain brothers, you know, eat them, eat them busting in your door. You know, locking you up for what? You know, we ain't out here uh, doing carnal things. You know, wicked things. But teaching the Bible. Then you're going to know who the Lord's chosen are, man. You know? It says, then they shall be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. And that's what this is about. This is this is a a, a, a trying period, man, where the Lord tries us, man. He, he purifies us, you know, with that fire to see if we're a piece of gold, man. You know, you know, we come out to be what we say we are, you know. It says, um, verse 74. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So that's why we prophesizing, because the days of trouble is coming, man. The days of trouble is at hand, man. You know? It says, um, he said what? The days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. And that's what our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. He said, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. Which is guide, G-U-I-D-E You know, like a road map You have a map to guide you To your location, your destination Well, Yahweh is our guide, man And that's why we don't have to worry about in that day You know, of what um, or what's going to happen We know what's going to happen And whatever we, we be put against We got to be able to endure You know, because Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Is our guide Alright it says, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. So you hear that, scoffers? This word is about his commandments and precepts. All right? Here a little, there a little. That's how you get understanding. Precept to precept, man. All right? Commandments and precepts. Even Paul, um, with his uh, humble opinion on certain matters, it was, it was commandments. All right? And what? And, and you get understanding through the precepts, man. So this is what the Lord said. He said, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves, man. You know? It says, verse 77, Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over the bushes and the path thereof covered with thorn that no man may travel that travel through and that, and that's deep because you know two thirds are are, 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 are are swimming in their own blood man they're swimming in their own sins and you know they're bathing in it man they have no no um what's the word I'm looking for um they have no uh intercession you know they, they don't have Yahweh Shai to vouch for them you know you got to give the angels 
the Lord Yahweh Shai something to fight for you for, you know? You know? You lift up your iniquity, what can the Lord do for you? You know, you gotta fight, man. The scriptures say faith without works is dead. You know, you holding your integrity and, and fighting in your uh, fighting in the spirit, you know, holding fast the commandments and precepts of the Lord, you know, hey, you're striving. The Lord can work with that, man. But if you just out here just doing as you will, doing what you want to do, you know, nobody could judge you. You know, you think the Lord is justified of your sins, then 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 you then you just, you know, you're nuclear missile food, man. You got a nuclear warhead with your name on there, man. You know? It says, uh, last last verse, it says, It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. And that's thermo thermonuclear destruction, man. You know, uh, you know, you look at these scriptures and, and you hear what the Lord speaks, you know, when he comes uh, hard with his speech upon the wicked. Everything, everything, you know, always resorts to what? At the end of the fire, man. You'll be burnt up. And that fire and that day is coming. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kadash, Raka Thumb to the Akim that's teaching his word in sincerity and truth, and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.